can you hear the flame? Bring it closer. It's so loud. It's a crackle candle. <laughs> Hi, I'm Sarah. Love Southwell. Fun Ravelry and Instagram, and of course here on YouTube. Can you hear the crackling? Maybe you can't hear it because now traffic's going by. It's so loud. I can hear it very loudly. How are you on this beautiful fall day? It's October 15th, Monday, and I'm so excited because this week I get to go to New York to um, the New York Sheep and Wool Festival, otherwise known as Rhinebeck. And um, what I'm really excited about is Needles Up and Indie Untangled on Friday, the day before. That's really what, that's really what I'm going for. <laughs> I cannot wait. Three more sleeps. And then I will be making my way um, the yearly pilgrimage <laughs> for us knitters to, um, to Rhinebeck. But I have never been before, so this is gonna be really exciting and new and probably overwhelming and I cannot wait. I'm so excited. And look, I have finished my Rhinebeck sweater as it were, even though this, <laughs> this sweater has been on the go since, I, I think it's been four years since I cast this on. This is the Harvest Cardigan by Tin Can Knits. It's just a lovely, simple, top-down raglan uh, worsted weight sweater. I can try to stand up a little bit so you can see it. And I knit this in um, Cascade 220 Heathers. I'm not sure what the, the name of the, the color is. I think it's just a number. It might have been like 4010. I don't even know how to describe this color. It's a kind of a hay, wheat, <laughs> pukey, mustard, yellow kind of color. I'm not really sure. And I have no idea why I picked this color. In hindsight, I should have picked, oh good, the recycle truck is here. Our bin is overflowing. Would you like to see? <laughs> Here's our recycle truck. <laughs> it is such a beautiful day out. Thanks for putting up with me because I am super professional. Okay, um, so yeah, I don't know why I picked this color because it's really not my color, but, and it's not gonna go with everything but I will wear it anyway, I don't care. But I wish I had knit it in like gray or pink or you know, a color that I wear more often. But it's okay, I'm so excited. I have a sweater. I've never knit myself a sweater before or finished a sweater. I've cast on plenty, but I've never actually finished a sweater for myself before. So this is monumental and epic and I'm very excited. It is, it is really cozy and I can see myself chucking this on all fall and winter long, regardless of what I'm wearing. I don't care if it matches because it's a high knit sweater and I'm gonna wear it to death. So yes, I'm so excited to have this finished in time to pack and uh, take it with me to New York on Thursday. So yay! Um, I have finished some pairs of socks since last we spoke and I would love to show them to you. Um, I finished the first this is not a pair, but I did finish the first uh, beautiful Lolo Did It um, knitting, knitting Friends are the Best Friends sock that she so kindly gifted to me. And I love it. I did a three by one ribbing and the co coordinating color is Summer Nights. And I knit these toe up using Sivia Harding's uh, sock pattern, toe, up, toe ups for all, I think is the name of the pattern. And it's a, a wonderful, very well-written pattern. So I need to get the second one going, but I have not yet. It's such a gorgeous autumnal color. I really, really love it. I also, um, when I finished that sock, went ahead and put a square of knitting friends or the best friends in my Cozy Memories blanket, but I need to find the square. One moment. Aha. <laughs> I have quite a few ends I need to weave in. So here, here it is in square form. <laughs> okay, um, oops, I'm dropping stuff on the floor. All right, I finally finished the first monster sock <laughs> from um, Will, uh, Lauren's monster sock sets that she does every month. 
and I only have four of them. She, she does one every month. I think she might have six out now, something like that. So this is Bigfoot. And these are probably going to be for Ben. Although I might give them to my neighbor because this morning when I went out to start the car to take Priscilla to school, um, a car wouldn't start because someone had left the rear lights in the back of the car on and so it drained the battery. So um, my neighbor Joe um, so kindly came over and after many attempts we, got, we were able to get the car started with um, jump starting it. It was kind of a hard process because my car was parked in the driveway and I couldn't put the car in neutral to push it out into the street so we could be closer to where his car was and there wasn't room for him to pull in like next to my car there wasn't room so what we ended up having to do was he had to drive on top of my neighbor's yard <laughs> so that he could kind of be next to my car so we would have room for the cables to reach each other so we finally after about 30 minutes we were able to get the car started so I think I, I may have to give him a pair of handed socks because I probably made him late for work and so anyway <laughs> these are great I'm glad that they're done I think I started them in June I can't remember when they I think I started it like pretty as soon as it came in the mail but I can't remember which month Bigfoot was so I'm so happy to have them done <laughs> okay and I have two more pairs that I have finished I finished my pineapple socks so this is pineapple yarns um lovely Marina she has such a pretty 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 website full of gorgeous yarns so she's pineappleyarns.com and she's also pineapple yarns on Instagram so definitely go check out her shop because I know you will find something that you absolutely have to have <laughs> she has such bright beautiful vibrant colors and this is called electric beach and then I did contrast uh, heels and toes with um, Stitch Together Studios in an unnamed colorway. So I'm so happy these are done. I still need to finish the Barley Light hat that I'm also knitting in, Electric Beach, um, double stranded with um, a, a skein, a skein, a strand of mohair, <laughs> also in Electric Beach. I didn't bring that over because I haven't really made much progress on it since last time. I podcast but I need to get that one done because it is actually really cold out it snowed yesterday and it was sticking to the ground but it's gone now it's completely gone but yeah we woke up to snow falling from the skies yesterday anyway okay I have another pair and this is Lolo did it um I love rock and roll and this is the first sock set I ever got from from Lauren and it's on the low original base which is my absolute favorite base sometimes it's plush but right now it's low original I just want to knit everything on that on that base it's fantastic and this is Wonka so these I knit toe up with a fish lips kiss heel which I still completely love knitting the fish lips kiss heel it's just so easy and I have it just memorized and it's just a great go-to short row heel. So yay, these are done. Oh, I think I will pack these and take these to Rhyme back. I think I'll take both of these to Rhyme back with me because I need some I need some fresh socks on my feet. <laughs> my sock drawer upstairs is getting it's getting kind of raggedy. All the pairs and that socks I have in that drawer are they're great, but they've just I've been wearing them for years and so they're just really getting worn out. I should probably pass them along <laughs> and make room for all the, the new pairs that I finished because I have a, a whole box of socks from uh, Woolen Vines um, box of socks cows for the last couple years. I think for the last two years I've kind of sort of participated in that cow without officially participating in it but I have my box of socks and I've I've completed it every year but I just haven't been wearing the socks so I need to start wearing some some new pairs. Okay other things I have been finishing knitting okay so because I'm going to needles up on Friday <laughs> can't wait um it inspired me to pull out um, all my legacy fiber arts projects that I've had on the go but that I just haven't been working on um, so there's three of them um, I pulled out uh, my 
Paris socks. This is per Paris Geller from Gilmore Girls back when they were doing their Gilmore Girls series. They, I think they had a colorway for just, just about every main character, um, which is really fun. So this is Paris, which is just beautiful. It's so autumnal and it really reminds me of like a pumpkin spice latte. That's what it reminds me of. It's so pretty. So I'm almost done with this first sock here. Just plain vanilla with a traditional heel flap, heel turn. So here is the yarn. So maybe I can get this sock done and take this second sock with me as my like plain knitting. Whatever I take for knitting on this trip is gonna be mindless because I'll be too excited to concentrate on anything else. And then I haven't showed, shown this in quite a while. Um, this is also Legacy Fiber Arts. This is my featherweight. I kind of kept forgetting about it because I had put it in my my china cabinet and I just hadn't knit on it in a while, but I pulled this out and look how pretty it is. So I'm really excited to be knitting on this again. This I might take this too for pl uh, plain knitting because it's I'm, I'm, I have the sleeves taken off and I'm just knitting down the body, so it's just stuck. It's like a sock, it's just stuck in it. It's awesome, so, yes. And the colorway is the mayor. And I am still knitting the first, the first skein. I have four skeins of this, so um, hopefully I can make the body nice and long. I'm not gonna do it as short as the pattern says. I would like to make it a little bit longer, and yeah. I'm, and this is um, the Cozy Toes base, their MCN. And yeah, and I have four skeins, so hopefully I can make this sweater big enough for my needs. <laughs> so yeah. And when it's called, this color is called the Mayor, and I feel kind of embarrassed, but I don't know what that's referring to. Do you guys know, Sue or Chelsea, if you're watching this, who is the Mayor? Is this a pop culture reference that I am unfamiliar with because I live under a rock? I don't know. Is it from a TV show? When I think of the mayor, I think of the mayor from Horton Hears a Who. Steve Steve Carell, who plays the mayor of the town of Whoville or whatever. <laughs> that's who I think of. But I don't know if that's who what this colorway is referring to. So please enlighten me. If anyone knows, please let me know who the mayor is. Okay. All right, and then I have one more Legacy Fiber Arts yarn and it is right here. This is also on the Cozy Toes MCN base. So Sue so sweetly gifted me this yarn in my Paris order. So this is a Valentine's Day colorway but I don't remember the name of it. It was something like I love you like EWE or something like that. I can't remember but I love it. It's so pretty. This is um, the Sockhead Cowl and I pulled it out and I realized, you know, I don't have that much more to knit before I can start the ribbing. So I might take this too. I might take all three of these projects with as my um, my projects for the plane and for while I'm there because all of them are completely mindless. They're all just plain stock net projects. I can't mess them up no matter how distracted I get. <laughs> so anyway, the sock head cowl, you knit, you know, ribbing just like for the sock head hat and then lots of stockinette and then another four inches of ribbing. But what I think I might do, oh, I haven't fully decided. But I think I might knit, um, instead of doing ribbing, I might do just a whole bunch of garter. So that one end is ribbing and the other end is garter. What do you think of that? Should we do that? I just think it would look nice and cozy. Isn't that the funnest? It kind of looks autumnal too, a little bit. I love it. It's so squishy. So these are my my needles up projects. It's keeping me sane and not from keeping me from losing my mind <laughs> with excitement before I get to go to needles up. I'm telling you guys, Friday is gonna be crazy because we go to needles up midday, and then I have tickets for Indie Untangled from three to five. I'm gonna be so overwhelmed. I'm not gonna know what to do with myself. I am not going to be able to take the load. <laughs> but we're gonna do the best we can. 
What, honey? Huh? Juliet does not have school today. Where? Magazines where? The library. Where? Yeah, they have magazines at the library. When I'm done recording, we'll go, okay? But let me finish, okay? I, I have another sock that I have been um, feverishly working on. Well, not really feverishly, but I've been enjoying working on. So, um, okay, do so you know how I'm knitting the, <clears throat> the Harry Potter blanket cow um, with Jilly and Shauna of Knitting Broomstick and Adelaide Cottage? We're, um, we're all knitting Harry Potter blankets, all with Harry Potter yarns. So here is my blanket. So this right here is must, mustache in the Hogwarts colorway. So when I finished this square, I wanted to go ahead and get socks going with, um, with that colorway because I need, I always need to be knitting Harry Potter socks. So I'm knitting them toe up and what I did was I cast both toes. Okay, <laughs> I cast on both toes and then put them on one circular needle so that I could be knitting them two at a time. I'm sorry, I don't know if you guys can hear that truck is really loud, I'm sorry. I have no editing capabilities, I'm sorry. Anyway, I knit both socks two at a time until I got to the Fish Lips Kiss and I managed to get the first sock heel turn done while both socks were on the um, one circular needle, but it was so cumbersome and it was kind of fatiguing my arms. And so I took them off and to knit the second heel turn. So I do have both socks past the heel. This one is almost done and I'm, I'm working on the ribbing. And then the other sock is like right here. So I'm still way ahead than I normally would be if I um, was not knitting them two at a time. But I still, I kind of liked it, and I thought, oh, maybe I'm going to convert to be a two-at-a-time sock person. But for me, it only works to a certain point, and then I'm just, I get so tired of it, I have to take them off and do them separately. But isn't this fun? It's all the house colors. You've got Gryffindor, Ravenclaw, Slytherin, and Hufflepuff. And such lovely stripes. So this sock I might be able to get finished today for this evening. I hope I can. And then I can get the other one done as well. We'll see. I have so much to do <laughs> to get ready for my trip. I've already started packing my suitcase. It's Monday and I don't leave till Thursday morning, but I'm already packing my suitcase because I don't want to be tempted to wear the clothes that I'm taking with me because then I'll just have to wash them again. So I might as well just go ahead and pack them and then I won't wear them. This is what I do. It's ridiculous. Okay, so I have picked up my scrappy sock blanket. Again, this is my 60 stitch one. So each square is 60 stitches and I'm using a 2.5 millimeter needle. So the gauge is nice and tight. Um, so squares I finished is um, Knitting Friends with the Best Friends. Lilo did it. And then my pineapple socks, uh, Electric Beach, and then that's the little postage stamp of Stitch Together Studios. And then this um, lovely yarn is Fuse Fiber Studios. Um, I think that's, is that how you say her company? Fuse Fibers. <laughs> it's either Fuse Fiber Studios or Fuse Fiber Yarns. Um, anyway, lovely Rebecca. And she's going to be at Indie Untangled, so I'm going to get to meet her. So this, I was inspired to pull out um, Pearl. This is, um, she so kindly gifted this to me back when we were doing the Bronte along. So this is Pearl. It's so pretty. I can't wait to see, to see what she has at Indie Untangled. That's going to be so fun to see her. So here's my blanket. I, this, with Pearl finished that row. So I've got to go back and get another row started. I love this project. I think this is my favorite project in the world ever. <laughs> okay. What else can I show you? I do have um, another sock. Actually, another Harry Potter sock. Um, okay, so this is Suburban Stitcher. Lovely Diane. And this is a Harry Potter yarn. I've got to get this knit into my Harry Potter blanket too. This is Spectra Specs. Luna, Miss Luna Lovegood. I'm going to be Luna for Halloween. But I have to get all this stuff. <laughs> I need a blonde wig. <laughs> 
the glasses and then a half um not a Hufflepuff. For some reason I was thinking Luna was in Hufflepuff. She's not. She's in Ravenclaw. So I need a Ravenclaw scarf. Priscilla has red chucks, so I'll borrow those because that's as close as I can get to like crazy chucks. Um I need to get some radish earrings. But you know what? All of that kind of adds up, so I'm not sure if I will do every aspect, but I'm gonna do enough Luna things to make it obvious that I'm Luna <laughs> for Halloween. And so anyway, the pattern I'm knitting in the Spectra Spec socks is um, the Weasley Homestead socks by Erica Luter. It's just a broken rib. It's so lovely and squishy and it's very easy. And I, for some reason I put this on a nine inch circ. I don't know why. I go on kicks with my so sock needles. Like sometimes I just wanna use nine inch. Sometimes I wanna do two at a time. Sometimes I wanna, all I wanna do is DPNs. Then all I wanna do is magic loop. And it changes like hourly, <laughs> which makes no sense, but it's fun that there's so many different ways to knit socks. So I like to, I like to do them all. Okay. I was going to show you, I have, you guys, I have not knit on my Smocket shawl in a while. I don't know why. I kind of ran out of steam with it. Um, so Yes, so this is the Smocket Shawl by Stephen West, which I love so very much. I mean, look how vibrant and fun this is. And I'm on the, um, oh, i got to be careful because I stole the needles from this for another project. This is what I do. I steal needles constantly. I just, <laughs> I just unscrewed the needles with, and didn't put stoppers on it, so I have to be careful. Any, anyway, I'm, I'm working on the part where you, you're decreasing down the other end of the shawl but you know but honestly I'm probably not gonna pick this up again until after I get back from my trip because this one even though it is easy it does take a little bit more thought yeah I do love it and I would like to get it finished this this autumn if I can it's so fun I love the color C which is anemone <laughs> okay, I, I'm trying to think, is that all for the knitting? I'm dying to get back to my quilts. I haven't done any quilting this season. I haven't worked on my Harry Potter quilt. I, I just haven't had time. I think I will once I get back from my trip because I'm I'm just dying to sew up some quilts <laughs> or at least make some progress on my all my current quilt whips, which is several. I do have some sock bags that are available in the shop that are kind of Halloween-y, autumnally. This one is, is very Halloween-y, I think, because look at that. And then this gorgeous. This is all skulls. I should actually take this out so you could see the, um, let me do this carefully. Be careful, Juliet. Amazing. It's tulip pink, of course. She does fabric like no other. And then the interior are it's like skull candy. Isn't that fun? So there's one of these. And then my personal favorite. <laughs> which I will show you. The raccoons! Oh my goodness. They're so cute. I have two of these. Let me show you the inside because. The interior fabric is a scream. I love it so much. I want a quilt. I really want to make a tulip pink quilt with all my favorite tulip pink fabrics. So here are these gorgeous raccoons. Look at that, kapow! <laughs> so I think the raccoons are from the All Star fabric collection and then this is actually from the Tabby Road collection which has the the little kitties and um, mice so this is supposed to be like a fur ball but I love it I thought it, it went with the raccoons very nicely <laughs> so there's two of these and then when I get back from my trip I, I want to start actually working on Christmas bags because you guys the holidays are gonna be upon us before we can blink <sighs> so much work to be done 
Well, I hope that you all are enjoying your wherever you live. If it's if you're in America, <laughs> North America, hopefully you are enjoying lovely fall weather. Um, otherwise, um, have a wonderful rest of your day, and I can't wait to tell you all about Needles Up and India Untangled and Rhinebeck um, when I get back. And thanks for watching. I'm sorry this is actually kind of a, a shorter episode, but I, I really wanted to, to get another episode out before I head off to New York. All right. See you next time. Bye.